Hi there Year 7, hope you're all well. Here is today's maths lesson which will be a consolidation of the work we did on expanding brackets earlier on in the term last term. So here's our quick starter on the boards. In your rough books or on your mini whiteboards or on a spare piece of paper that you have to hand, please can you pause the video for five minutes and have a go at these questions now. Okie dokie, we'll go through the answers. So for the first one, you need to do a column subtraction, and that would give you 546. For the second one, if you'd done a bus stop division, you'd have got 428. For the third one, I'd have done 787 multiplied by 4, and then divided my answer by 100, which would give me 31.48. For the fourth one, I needed to put both fractions over the same denominator in order to do that subtraction. So I know that 10 is just a multiple of 5. So I can take 1 fifth, I can multiply top and bottom of that fraction by 2. So I know 1 fifth is equivalent to 2 tenths. I've now got 9 tenths take away 2 tenths, which would give me 7 tenths. And for the last one, I do my bracket first, 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 squared is 25, then using my bips, I know I need to do my product next, which is my divide. 25 divided by 5 is just 5, and then 4 plus 5 is 9. If you did my extension question, a possible example would have been when j is 2 and k is 3, then j plus k squared is 25, but j squared plus k squared is 13. So it's not always true. OK, year 7, we're going to do the diagnostic quiz now. So A, B, C or D. Please write your answers on your mini whiteboards or in your rough fix and we'll go through the answers at the end. At any point, you're welcome to pause the video if you need a bit more thinking time. OK, guys, question number one. Can you calculate 3 subtract 5 times 4? 3 subtract 5 times 4. Again, remember to use your bips. Question number two for me, year seven. Can you calculate the perimeter of this kite? If I tell you that the single lines mean that those sides are the same length and the double lines means that those two sides are the same length, what's the perimeter of this kite? Question number three. Can you tell me what the perimeter of this square is? Remember a square, all sides are the same length. Question number four. What's the perimeter of this trapezium? Again, wherever I see a line and another single line, those two sides are the same length. And finally for me, year seven, what is the answer to the calculation in the box? Two times three squared. Use your bips. Okie dokie, let's go through the answers. Question number one, the part I needed to do first was 5 times 4, which was 20. 3 subtract 20 would give me negative 17, so the correct answer was D. For question number two, I'm adding together 8, 8, 15 and another 15, which all together would give me 46 centimetres, which was B. For question number three, I'm adding together 3, 3, 3 and 3, which would give me 12. Question number 4, I need to add together 7, 8, another 7 and 12, which would give me 34, which was C. And for question number 5, I need to do my indice first. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. I've now got 2 times 9, which is 18, so the correct answer is B. So as I said earlier, we're going to be looking at expanding single brackets again today. So as a quick recap, when we're given a bracket, for example 2 bracket x plus 5, I know that the number outside the bracket, in this case the 2, tells me how many rows across I need to make with my algebra tiles. So here I've got a 2. So I know I need two rows. Now inside the bracket, that tells me 
how long my column needs to be. So how long my bracket is. Here I know it needs to be X, which is a green rectangle, and I need five yellow squares. X plus five. So my column length is X plus five. And my rows, given by my number outside my bracket, is two. Now, having modelled this with my algebra tiles, I can expand this bracket by saying, well, there's two lots of x, so that's 2x. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 positive ones. So I can expand that bracket to 2x plus 10. Let's do another example. I've got four lots of 2x take away 5. Now this time the 4 tells me I'm going to need 4 rows. There they are. However, this time the length of my column needs to be 2x take away 5. So if the length of the column is 2x take away 5 Callum, how many green rectangles along does it need to be? Exactly, they need to be two. One, two, because it's two lots of x. What kind of algebra tile do I need to show negative five then? What kind of algebra tile do I need to show negative five for me, Chloe? Five reds, brilliant. There they are. But I know I need four rows of it. There's my first row. Two, three, four, and five. Now I've modelled it, I can expand my bracket. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight x's. And negative ones, I've got 20 of them. So expanding that bracket gives me 8x subtract 20. On your mini whiteboards or in your rough books, please can you draw this out using your algebra tiles and expand this bracket. Pause the video for a minute and mark it out. Right, let's go through it. We need two rows. There they are. And my column length is x plus 3. So all together I've got two lots of x and plus 6. Here's my column length, x plus 3. And here's my rows, 2. Expanding that gives me 2x plus 6. How about this one? On your mini whiteboards or in your rough books. Okie dokie, this time I know I need three rows because I've got three outside my bracket. There they are. And my column length is x, a green rectangle, plus two yellow squares. So three rows of x plus two, x plus two, three rows of it, which if I expand it means that all together I've got three lots of x, plus 6. How about now? On your mini whiteboards or in your rough books, draw this one out and expand this bracket for me, Year 7. Okie dokie, so this time I've got two rows because the 2 is outside the bracket and the length of my column this time is x and negative 3. Let's expand that bracket. I've got two lots of x and one, two, three, four, five, six negative ones. So that gives me two x, take away six. Here's another one for you to do. Have a little think. Pause the video if you need. Okie dokie, let's go through it. This time I need two rows. That's my two, just outside my bracket. 
only the length of my column this time is 3 lots of x, 1, 2, 3, plus 2. Now if I expand that bracket, all together I've got 6 x's there, and 4 1's. So expanding that would give me 6x plus 4. How about now? Expand this one for me. Okie dokie, let's go through it. We need 3 rows because there's a 3 outside my bracket. There it is. And this time the length of my column is 2x plus 3. So expanding that, 3 rows of 2x plus 3 would give me 6 lots of x plus 9. Over to you, Year 7. On the board, there are 16 brackets. Please take 10 15 minutes and have a go at expanding these for me. Off you go. and here are the answers. Please check your answers and see how you did. Okay, I'm going to go through a slightly trickier example. So pens down, eyes on the board, I'll go through one and then there's one for you to do. I'm going to start off by expanding three lots of 2x plus 4. This looks just like the ones we've been doing. We need three rows and our column length is 2x plus 4. So 3 rows of 2x plus 4. The 3 comes from outside the bracket, 3 rows, and 2 lots of x plus 4 yellow squares is the length of my column. And I need 3 rows of them, which gives me 6x plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hopefully we all got that. Let's make it trickier. How about negative 3 lots of 2x plus 4? Now we know if I multiply any number by the negative inverse, I'm just going to make the negative version. So now... I've got negative 3 lots of 2x plus 4. My column length is the same, but all of my colours have switched because I've got negative 3 times them. So if I expand this bracket, I've now got negative 6x and negative 12. See how the negative 3 has meant that all my green rectangles became red rectangles because they're now negatives and all my yellow squares became red squares because they're now all negatives. In your rough books or on your mini whiteboards, please pause the video for a minute and expand this binomial for me, this bracket. Okie dokie, hopefully we all drew this and expanding that would give me 8x plus 12. Now what happens when I do this? Pause the video for a minute, draw it out on your mini whiteboard. Cool, I've changed the 4, it's become a negative 4, so all my tiles are going to flip. Now I've got negative 8x and negative 12. Let's try another example. Here's mine. I've got three lots of 2x take away 4. This time I know I need three rows of 2x, which is two green rectangles, take away 4, so four red squares. Three rows of it would look like this. If I expand that bracket, I've now got six x's and negative 12. But what happens when I do this? 
I've now put negative three lots of 2x take away, five, take away 4. It looks just the same, but the 3 has become a negative. And that means all our tiles are going to flip. All our green rectangles become red rectangles. All our red squares become yellow squares. So now I've got negative 6x. And this time it's plus 12 because they're all yellow squares. Over to you guys. Pause the video for a minute. In your light blue books, draw out this one and expand it for me. Cool, hopefully we all drew this. And expanding that would give me 8x. Take away 12. So how about if I do this? Pause the video for a minute, draw it out and see what you get. Cool, so our 4 has become a negative 4, so all our tiles are going to flip. It's going to look like this. I've now got negative 8x and positive 12. Let's do another example. This one looks really tricky, but it's actually a lot simpler. I've got three lots of negative 2x take away 4. The 3 tells me I need three rows, but this time my column length is negative 2x, so two red rectangles, and negative 4, which is four red squares. I need three rows of it. There they are. Let's expand that bracket. That's going to give me negative 6x. Because there's six lots of negative x. Take away 12. Because there's 12 lots of negative 1. But what's going to happen if I do this? My 3 has become a negative 3. So I'm going to need to flip all those tiles. Here we go. Now I've got positive 6x. And positive 12. Over to you guys, year 7, in your rough books or on your mini whiteboards, expand this bracket for me. By no means, just another word for bracket. Hopefully, we all got this. And expanding that, I've got 8 lots of negative x, so negative 8x. And I've got 12 lots of negative 1, so negative 8x take away 12. What happens when I do this? Okie dokie, the 4 has become a negative 4. So I flip all my tiles. Now I've got positive 8x and positive 12. Well done if you got that right, year 7. OK, please pause the video for 5 to 10 minutes and have a go at these questions for me, Year 7. Again, draw out the algebra tiles and work out the expanded expression. Don't worry if this has got a little bit too tricky for you. These are hard. OK, have a go. See how you get on. Pause the video for 5 to 10 minutes and have a go at those now. And these are the answers. Please check your work and see how you did. And that's the end of today's lesson, Year 7. Please head on over to Google Classroom and submit today's exit ticket. Thanks very much for listening and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.